Hi, I'm Alice from Tap with Alice. And in this video, I'd like to show you the nine gamut procedure. So if you're new to tapping, please watch one of my other videos first that will explain all of the tapping points and the usual EFT tapping procedures. Um, and this nine gamut procedure used to be part of the original tapping sequence um, as Gary Craig, the founder of EFT, originally had the um, tapping sequence. This was part of it. And now it's not commonly used in normal tapping sequence. Um, but as a therapist, I sometimes use it when a person is stuck, when the normal EFT seems to be going nowhere. Um, it can sometimes just help to shift that last little bit um, if somebody's stuck. Or it can be used for um, somebody who doesn't remember when their thing started. So it's very common, isn't it, for people to have things that go way back to their childhood, um, to their pre-verbal memory. They don't even remember images. Maybe they were a baby uh, or maybe even in the womb. They pick things up in the womb. Um, they feel the mother's stress. They Obviously, they get the blood from the mother. So if she has high stress um, levels of high levels of stress hormones in her blood, the baby will get that. And obviously, they don't know what it's about. So this is a really good way to really speak directly to the body and the brain and the physiology um, without having to know what it's about. Um, I wouldn't recommend using just this. I think it's better to use it when you've been tapping for a while, either by yourself or working with a practitioner. Um, it, it's not going to help if you just do this um, procedure. But it's a useful thing if, as, as part of your tapping practice. So this is how it works. Um, I don't know why this is called the gamut point, but in between your little finger knuckle and your ring finger knuckle, there is a groove between the um, tendons and bones of your hand. And we're going to tap in the middle there. So if you take a couple of fingers, you'll get it. And we're going to tap on this point throughout the whole thing. So it's called the, the nine gamut because there are nine things we do. OK, so keep tapping on that and you can do it along with me. So the first thing we'll do is close the eyes for a few seconds and then open the eyes and then look right down to the right. It doesn't matter if you do left first. So right down to one side and then back to the middle, right down to the other side and back to the middle. And then we're going to go in a circle with our eyes. So keep your head still and take them slowly in a circle all the way around each side, down and up. And when you get back to the beginning, go around the other way. Take your time, make sure you're getting all of the places to look at. And then just close your eyes a second. OK, and then we're going to hum a tune. It doesn't matter which which um, tune you choose. Choose one that doesn't have any negative connotations. So just a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then count one, two, three, four, five very quickly. One, two, three, four, five. And then hum again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's it. So um, with the nine gamut procedure, there's no need to um, tune into a specific problem. It's, it's part of the EFT process. So you will have already been doing your EFT and focusing on your problem. Um, so that's why I've just given it as an isolated uh, technique um, for those of you that uh, are working by yourself and working through your issues with EFT by yourself. It's, uh, it can be a helpful thing. Just You can just throw it in. There's no harm in doing it often. Um, but I find it most helpful, as I say, for um, things where you're stuck, where you don't know where to go and you don't remember what the problem is. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me on my website, tapwithalice.com or on Facebook. You can join my Facebook group if you would like to. I'm Tap with Alice there and you can find my Facebook group from my page. Thank you. Bye bye.